One person has died following a three-car crash in the city's northwestern outskirts. RCMP say a car was seen driving erratically on Inkster Boulevard yesterday afternoon when it crashed into a pickup truck, which then hit another vehicle. The driver of the car was pronounced dead at the scene. The other drivers were not seriously hurt. Officers have not ruled out a medical emergency as the cause of the crash. The Manitoba Jockey Club will try and make its case to stop pending government legislation that would cut $5 million in BLT revenue to the club today at an emergency hearing. The Jockey Club has said that should the legislation pass, it would mean Assiniboia Downs would not be able to operate this season. In its April budget, the province said it would redirect millions of dollars provided annually to the Downs with legislation to break the BLT contract between Manitoba Lotteries and the Jockey Club. Provincial officials say government subsidies to horse racing are too high given the current economic climate. The Alberta government will begin handing out pre-loaded debit cards today to help evacuees with day-to-day -day expenses in the wake of last week's severe flooding. The first evacuees to get the cash cards will be the 13,000 residents of hard-hit High River, a town still deemed a disaster zone and without most utilities. Some residents are furious after hearing it could still be days before their town is deemed safe enough for residents to return home. They say the community has dealt with flooding for years and should have been allowed back into town days ago to begin sorting through their belongings. Meanwhile, the Trans-Canada Highway west of Calgary has reopened to the public for the first time since severe flooding forced its closure one week ago today. One lane is open in each direction, though speed limits have been reduced to 60 kilometers an hour. There were day-long celebrations in California after the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling settled a five-year battle against the state's ban on same-sex marriage. What do we have? Equality! When did we get it? The ruling means gay couples can start picking up wedding licenses in three weeks. More celebrations were held over a second ruling by the court that overturned a key provision of the Defense of Marriage Act, denying federal benefits to same-sex couples. Opposition leader Brian Pallister is accusing the NDP government of trying to stop a media outlet from running a story on the pending PST increase. Pallister says a NDP communicator contacted a radio station in Swan River trying to kill a story by saying the taxation department official who did the interview with the station was an imposter. They are the eyes and the ears of the people and no democratic government has the right uh, to attempt to muzzle uh, the media. The matter was resolved when cabinet communications determined that the interview was conducted with the proper official. The PST is set to go up to 8% from 7 on Monday. Tonight's the night many Blue Bomber fans have been waiting for. The first regular season home game at Investors Group Field. Officials have a lot planned for the opening ceremonies, including a pep band, skydivers, and an appearance by the Grey Cup. After that, the Bombers will take on the Montreal Alouettes. Bombers head coach Tim Burke says the key to the season will be playing one play at a time. You have to focus on perfection for that one play. And if all of us achieve our personal best on that one play, then we're going to be successful. Quarterback Buck Pierce says he's confident in his team's chances, as Coach Burke has always told the players to be consistent on the field. It's not about you know being hot and cold in this league. Um, it's about being consistent, and those are the teams that, that finish well. Tonight's kickoff is at 8 o'clock. The game is sold out. More news coming up at 8 o'clock. Right now we'll check in with Jeremy.